Not bad for off way telly. What they all turns on. Not as good as the LJ, which is there. The LJ's better. But why? Chris Carver was unarmed when he was killed while driving a car last month. The inquest into the 24-year-old's death was opened and adjourned today. From the hearings, we'll get a bank report. Uh, a month on from the death of her son, the grief is raw. Chris Carver's mother was comforted outside the inquest into his death. The 24-year-old was shot by a police officer in South London. Now his family are desperately seeking the facts. We need answers. Not just this family, but the whole of London. The whole of the country needs to know how something like this could occur. How can a young man sitting in a car, unarmed, so car. shot in the head by uh, police in... Uh, the sky code is one six eight seven. He was followed by an unmarked police car with no lights or siren. Then blocked in by a marked police car. There was contact between the vehicles before a police officer fired a single shot through the windscreen. No weapon was found in the car. The Independent Office for Police Conduct is now investigating it as a potential homicide. The hearing lasted just minutes as the inquest was opened. Side court, Chris Cabba's family were emotional as they called for the officers involved to be questioned under caution and for an urgent decision. Until shot has been suspended. Even that's from way scary. My cousin Chris was very much loved by us. His loss is with us every day. He had a bright future ahead of him. First child was about to be born. That his life was cut short by a police officer is a tragedy. The family say they're alarmed that the investigation by the police watchdog could last up to nine months. Rebecca Barry, ITV News. Formula One boss Bernie Eccleston will go on trial next year on a charge of fraud worth 400 million pounds. He is accused of failing to declare the money in a trust in Singapore to the government. The 91-year-old was not asked to enter a plea and will go on trial next October. And trading in shares of Twitter were stopped this afternoon. The reports that Elon Musk will go ahead and buy this social media giant. The million dollar purchase has been the subject of months of legal battles. According to unconfirmed reports, Elon Musk has written to Twitter offering to complete the deal at the original no, price. I just tell you before. Now, three British teachers have appeared before a court in France following the death of a 12-year-old schoolgirl in their care. Jessica Lawson was on a school trip when she got into difficulties in a lake, but she died the next day. John Hill is outside the hearing in the town of Toul in central France. John, what was said in court today? Well, Mary, it's taken seven years, actually, for the events of July 2015 to be finally heard in a French court. Jessica Lawson was, in fact, one of 24 pupils from Wolverton School near Hull, who'd uh, travelled to the massive central area of France, taking part in activities like hiking and canoeing. But when the children went for a swim in a local lake, things went catastrophically wrong. A plastic platform they were playing on overturned, and there was panic among the teachers when they realised that Jessica was missing. Now, her parents were in court today to hear the case, and the three teachers were cross-examined, each accused of the French equivalent of manslaughter by gross negligence. Now, Stephen Lane led the trip, and he was accompanied by the PE teacher Chantel Lewis and the French teacher Daisy Stavers. Chantel Lewis, in fact...